So the Metropolitan's finest have ramped up their efforts to ensure that anyone that partakes in perceived gang activity are going to be dealt with severely and harshly, whether the charges make sense or not. Now if you remember 27 year old Billy McConnor, who also went by the name Billy the Kid and was part of HRB, sadly lost his life when he was hit by gunfire in the chest just after 3am on the 16th of July back in 2020. Now by all accounts tensions had escalated between Stonebridge members and HRB members and that tension got to the point where both sides decided to do something about it. Now during this tragic incident a Land Rover Discovery had been used in a gunfire exchange and that 30 grand car had been found burnt out on St Raphael's area of London. Now this was a ride out that went completely wrong and it ended in tragic consequences. Multiple gunfire was exchanged between two parties. Now at the time of the incident, paramedics and armed police rushed to the scene and they apprehended two males involved in the incident, a 19 year old man and a 24 year old man. Both had been arrested on suspicion of that M. Sadly, Billy the Kid was pronounced dead. He lost his life. Now fast forward and Billy the Kid's own friends, Gritty and Bizzle, are in jeopardy of losing a grand portion of their life due to being charged with the crime of ending Billy the Kid. Now, they were in the car with Billy the Kid supposedly, so the fact that police are charging his own friends has a lot of people fuming. They did not end this guy's life, they were on the same team. Now that means police run the risk of closing cases down without holding the actual person responsible. Condolences all across the board. Stay safe. Safe.